Hey yo. Uh, I don't know why it's bugging weird. Hold on. Uh, where is my camera? The camera is not there. It's somewhere. Uh, hello. Media broadcast. What are you doing? Microphone. Hello? It's Bob. I need to restart, I think. Hold on. Okay, is my microphone working? I think it is. Where's my camera though? Hold on. You see what can we Nvidia? Yeah, it's not gonna work. So ooh. But I could, I could, because I I'm actually the source camera is busy. Ooh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Hold on. Deactivate. It's got a drop. Oh, okay. I'll check it out later. Uh, PC. Hello! You can see my face now. I just need to add uh, the thing. I can control it from there. Some uh, technical stuff on my end. On OBS and stuff, you know, you know. But it's fine. Because now, now I can do the... Do -do 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 I can do the... Do this, do this, please. Okay, wait, maybe now. Yeah, now it works. Hello, hello. I think it's working good. So, uh, I guess, I guess I can start explaining first because like people are gonna join later. Um, I'm, I'm playing a demo of a fan game on my Steam. Ouch, cable. Sorry. Okay, so like the Steam Deck. Uh, blinks, oh you can't see because it's the freaking well, too bad. I have my Steam Deck, I have the game here, you can see it on the screen because I'm, I'm streaming it on my PC. All good, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna see what it's all about, the new update, the new whatever fixes to the physics and stuff, and we're gonna have fun. Uh, and now it's time for me like to plug the stream on every, every place I can, because that's fun, isn't it? It's like which no, it's like HTTPS slash slash uh, Twitch dot TV slash Alpris. And now I copy paste it everywhere. Let's go. Bam. You. And uh and the you there. Bam. Okay. And and you and you there. Um, streaming. Uh, I'll be testing the new beta live from streaming. Come hang out! Exclamation mark. Link. Bam. Okay, hopefully people come. Let's see. I haven't actually played it uh, fully. Can you, guys, can you guys hear everything correctly? I know my game sound is kind of low at, at points. So you guys tell me if the sound is correct. Remember to ask. Okay, no, no issues with like keyboards and mouses and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Options. Gameplay. Place one. Interesting. Oh, uh, well, let's just, just drop in then, okay? Okay. Ooh, come on, it's pretty darn slow. Uh, no options here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, never mind. I'm gonna do 
as we can. And it's gone. The camera is really slow. Wait. Heck. It's very slow. Also, I think the framework is kind of lagging for some reason. Ooh, hold on. Okay, the texture is not on the ground. It's like slightly above. Interesting. It's definitely something that could be fixed. Oh, no, I, also, it's cool because, like, since I'm streaming and stuff, I can. Hold on. Actually, I can do slash marker. Marker. Uh, whatever it's called. Uh, float. I'll just call it float. And then I can look at my markers and uh, compile everything into clips or a Twitch highlight, which then could very much help out um, Upheaval to make uh, the game better. Which is all good. Uh, let me check the Discord also. Hands on the Discord. Okay. Oh, hold on. I don't think it's supposed to be green. I think it's supposed to be green. Right? Oh, hold on. Okay, that was weird. Ooh, that texture is very weird. Okay, why is it turning green though? That's not. Yeah, that's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, 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 okay. I found another thing. Whenever you try to turn, when you're sweeping stuff, it doesn't actually let you turn. Like, forces you to stay where you're sweeping the thing. Whereas you would want, uh, you would want to be able to move away, like, to turn where you want to turn, even if it cancels the sweeping. Because, uh, you need to give priority to what the player wants, not what you think they may want to do. I don't know if that makes sense. Bye. Thank you. Hey. Uh, can we do... Do, 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 do? Um, I see the green flag. I, I should, I should put like slash. Jesus, that's gonna be so many markers that I need to put. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. If you do this correctly. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do a list. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, slash marker. So what was I saying about the thing? The... Okay, turn when sweeping. And then I have a slash marker for when... Oh yeah, okay, okay. So like the, the white flash is kind of annoying. I mean, no, it's, it's not annoying, but like, I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. I don't know if there was a white flash on, on in Blinks 1. I know you would, like, turn, like, do a spin jump celebratory pose or something, and there would be a sound, but I don't know about the white flash. Maybe it's just temporary, um, because there is no animation for now. Okay, and then I think I had something else. Oh, yeah, the music stops in the menu. Did it stop? In Blinks one, I don't know. It's been a while since I played because my Xbox is broken. Sadness. Anyways, let's go. Uh, hello. Interesting. That's definitely a bug. <laughs> Another marker. Okay. Bug crystal. I mean, I don't know if, if it's any use putting so many markers, because like, it's if every 5 seconds there's something to look. I guess I could just send the whole thing. Okay, that's definitely not very cool. Okay, I thought it was because I, I put the, the stick like halfway through, but actually you can't go halfway through, which is very weird also. Like, why can't you like walk slowly? I think you could in Blinks. I mean, even if you couldn't, like, that makes sense to be able to do. Shut up, notification, thank you. Um, 
But yeah, even if you if you go at full speed, which is the only speed you can go at really, uh, you can't cross the ledge. So okay, another marker. Let's go. So many markers. Flash marker. Um, ledge. Cross. Some whatever. Yes. Is it maybe because like Blinks is a bit small? Isn't he a bit a bit small compared to the world? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. it's definitely weird. Uh, I think I I I had a hiccup on this part when walking. Either way. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't hard to get. See, which is why I think I talk. Oh my god, the walking physics are really like you need. Okay, maybe there needs to be more uh, force. You know, whenever you walk, there needs to be more. You need to have more push on blinks. So that he can go up ramps. It's like he, he, he needs to move with a lot of force, but not very far. If you see what I mean. Maybe like okay, so he has he has like very fast acceleration. He can go very yeah. It's about acceleration, I think. And then you also decelerate him very fast. So like it seems to be the same thing. I don't know if it makes sense. Yeah, he shouldn't care about like slopes and stuff that much. He, I, I mean, he shouldn't care it at, 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 for slopes at all. Like, you know, if he's walking on there, like walk, walking up here, he shouldn't have any increase or decrease in speed. You know, because it's not a, it's not a precision platformer or like a, a traditional platformer. So, like, you don't care about like going downhill and going faster. You know, it's not about momentum or stuff like that. It's about consistency, because like. Especially when you try to shoot enemies and stuff, you want to have consistency in the, in the way you move, you know? So you don't want to increase your speed, decrease your speed, or, or like, hang up on ledges and stuff. So yeah, definitely. Uh, consistency... Okay. Well, that's not how you write that. Never mind. Next up, what do we have? Oh yeah, and so I, I was saying about the physics, like you want the least amount of physics possible because you see that like went down using physics and now oh well physics don't really work um whoops maybe we can get the metal it's not a challenge anymore this one still doesn't work that's interesting is it because because you have to add the, um, the collectible property to each and every individual. Whoa! Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, did it get back down? Yes, it did. Can I can I shoot it upwards again? I don't know. Hold on. Okay, it went up again. Can I can I flip? Things, on my phone or something. Oh, why? Stream manager. Yes, I do want the stream manager. Okay, it's here. Are you clip stuff? Can't clip stuff. No. Oh whatever. But yeah. Um. Well, first off, the physics are weird because like it doesn't want to collect. But then it jumps up. Three, four. Five, six, seven, and then it just shoots up to the skies, which might be. Oh, hello. Hello, dude. What the? What the heck? Bro, calm down, dude. Um, I didn't collect it either this way, but now it's nowhere. Like, where is it? 
skybox is weird. It's like the windows I have, they're not as sharp as they were on the original game. Which is interesting. Anyways, let's go. Animation feels a bit off, but it's fine. How do? Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So if you don't have retries in this game, you just have health points. But! Okay. There definitely needs to be improvement on the on the shooting physics, the trash physics. But that's to be expected, because like that's one of the hardest things to do. Uh, I should put a marker, by the way, uh, for, for the for the um, the, 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 the thing for crystal, crystal glitch. My other the, the crystal crystal fly, and then and then the, the shooting physics. Is it okay? And also one thing I would note, but that's um, more so regarding the gameplay. It's like you know when whenever you came, you heard the noise, but like since it's your first level, level you don't really know the enemies and stuff. Okay, that's definitely a weird walking animation. Ooh. I mean, the animation are, are to be like redone anyways at one point. Uh, but yeah, so like, you don't know the game, you don't know the enemy, you come in here, and then you don't see anyone, because the, the frick uh, fuck, fucker is hiding over there. And like, maybe you need to have like path scripting or something, where he only sticks around these parts, so that you can see it and learn the game maybe. Stop being green! You're not supposed to be green. And I feel like these crystals are are, are like a bit too red and not enough pink. Because I it, they definitely had like yeah the, the glowing shiny sparks on them are red instead of being um white. I mean they definitely felt way more pink. I could I could look this up actually, maybe for comparison. Uh, marker crystal red pig. Okay, I'll look a check on the Google. On the Google. Okay, the Google. I stop. Shut up. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Um, so we do when you. Crystal. Do I have any? No, no. Links crystal. We try. Go. Images. Uh, do I have any, any images from in game? Nope. Do I have to go in the wiki? Probably. Thank crystals. Oh, uh, that's not the right. I don't want. Oh, you. Uh, Links to timesuper.com. Oh, uh, that's better. Do, do I have anything, any screenshots from the game? No, I don't. But, blinks. Blinks. Screenshot. No. No. We have any. Oh, here we go. It definitely looks less red. Like, if you compare the icon in here and the, the one on the screen there, definitely looks way too much red. And, uh, can we find one in game though? To, to be 100% sure. Somewhere around the. Somewhere. Nope. I don't find it. Uh, anyways, yeah, I definitely. I mean, it's not. Oh, okay, that's mouse controls. Okay. And yeah, by the way, even the even the yellow crystal has a sort of like green reflection. It's very weird. I really don't think it's supposed to be like that. 
Hold on, escape. What do you what do you mean? Like, leave me alone, thank you. Did we have this pop up since the beginning? Sorry. Uh stats, let me check uh, hold on. Okay, thank you. No, I wanna get out of the screen. Thank you. One viewer. Hello viewer. I don't know who you are, but if you're there, please uh manifest yourself. Please say uh he a batch. Or something. And yeah, I think all the colors are, are way too much red actually. Even blinks his fur. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I think his fur is way too red. And I think I know why. It's because of the um, of the thing that I figured out for the for the menu thing. Uh, with how the okay, hold on, oh, okay. Yeah. but yeah, the colors on a CRT are kind of like washed out or like they're shifted from from blue to red or the contrary. I don't know. I don't know which one. But like it's shifted a bit in the hue, and so every everything that's supposed to be red looks kind of more orange. Um, and yeah, when you see Blink's fur or like the logo color in the um, in, in the promotional art, like on the cover and stuff, it's kind of more orangey. And here it's like all red. Like, okay, let me look at the screenshots actually. Uh, if you go, if you go on the one there, and if you go, is it that red or not? No, it's definitely like this is very too much red. Like, it, it's supposed to have a small tint of orange in there, but here it doesn't. Like, let me, let me find, even here, maybe... I, I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting engine or something? No, okay, the, and, and you can see it even in the eyes, like, they're, like, a, a very bright green, like, very... Like if it's the maximum value of RGB green on a on the computer, whereas on the on this image in here, it's like it's like more yellow. Do you see what I mean? It has more yellow. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Less blue, more yellow. And okay, the second game is definitely something else. Like he's definitely more yellow, you know. But he was always more of a light lightish red orange something never as red as in the game uh, as in the beta I mean, I mean, story. like this is more reddish but it's still orange either way so yeah i think should probably think about putting a filter on on the put a marker marker red tint so, so yeah, instead of like fixing every texture, maybe what would be better is to put a filter on the game, which like affects the color a bit, you know what I mean? Um, maybe that would be a good thing. I don't know. Soften the, the color a bit. Or we could like just change the most important bits. Like, if, if we only care about, like, stuff that's supposed to be red or orange, like the Link's fur, like the logo, like the the menu transition screen and stuff, then yeah, maybe we can ignore the rest. But if we notice that, like, literally every texture has the same red-orange issue, like, maybe, like, you know, stuff is too green, like, for example, these, these, um indicator bar something I don't, I don't know the name sorry but yeah maybe then if everything has this problem you just pop a filter on the whole game and then yeah, we're done okay, that, 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 that definitely feels like this area is not supposed to be this dark definitely feels too dark right? maybe because the game doesn't have a um, Dark. Maybe because the game doesn't have any 
like the world doesn't have any ambient light, you know what I mean? So like the dark spots can be really dark. Whereas what I think happened in the game was that there was no no point in which you had like total darkness. Even if there was no light, there was ambient lighting. Because you know, at the time you didn't have like so like you didn't have lights like this, like these, like uh, dynamic lights, which are hard to render. So the only thing you could do is bake lighting, and so like you can have like lights figuring on and effects like this. That's what they did first, so that you could see everything everywhere. You, like put ambient light everywhere, carpet the, the whole area with that, and then maybe add some brighter spots like like this here, you know. But the difference from from here to there wasn't that much. Yeah, you know, it's cool. You can do shadows and stuff. But is it really needed? That is the question. For a blank skin. I mean, it could look cool maybe in some levels. And okay, that that was weird. By the way. Yeah. Okay. The shade the shading is a bit weird. Cause like you know, yeah, we got dynamic lights and stuff. Uh, it looks modern, whatever. But like that trash can over there doesn't look more than modern at all. It's, it's weird. It's like it looks flat. It doesn't look like it has any shading. That's. I mean, it looks. Or maybe. Okay, I think I know what what's happening. Maybe it can only have one light source from one side. I don't really know how that whole thing works. Like, yeah, it looks kind of greenish from here. Doesn't look nice. Uh, green trash. Okay, and then what else is there? Complain about? Maybe too much room on these lamps? Like, okay, bloom is supposed to mean, okay, the light is very bright, uh, it's blindly, blindingly bright, but look at the light it's emitting over there, it's emitting like nothing, uh, so why is it so, so bloomy, you know? Okay, another complaint I can, I can just drop right here, the shadows are too sharp. Like, there's no use in having such sharp shadows. Because usually the shadows, they soften out the further they are. Are they softening out though? Maybe I, I don't well enough. I don't think they are. I think you can just like lower the, the shadow resolution by default and it would look like good enough. Like, lower the shadow resolution and put a, uh, put a blur filter on and then it'll, it'll look more natural and take less resources. You don't need it to be this high by default. Um, okay, what else can we say? What else can we say? I don't know. Let's continue our journey. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I saw the animation over there. Like, why is he sliding off the wall? Is it, there, is it useful to activate the animation every time? Like here it doesn't happen, but here on the corner it does. So yeah, that's definitely something that needs to be looked into and fixed. Okay, uh, blue marker, slide wall. That's too many markers, my god. Things like suffocating under the markers. Anyways, let's look at the at the Easter egg. Oh no! Mick! Oh no! By the way, I don't I don't get where this comes from. Oh, it probably comes from 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 Blinks 2 actually. Oh hello. Infinity or not any floating phone numbers appear when happening in the trust from the right the lighter scene. Parity path games this for her stage one crystal pose trigger. Ha! I think this error message is for the for the blue time crystal. Oh 
Oh, I know. Okay, so like, the the transfer matrix is like whenever you sweep up stuff, like the bench. You know, it has a transfer matrix or something to like shrink it so that it goes into the sweeper. And what did we do? We did time crystal. The pause crystal triggers something. We swept it up, and then it disappeared, and I was like, that's definitely not supposed to happen, or that's definitely not normal. And the game now is like, uh, what the fuck? I'm lost. So yeah, we figured it out. Ah, it's so annoying. Like, it's either, either like, the map is too big, like, and it, it needs to be scaled down, like, blinks need to be scaled up, or something else. Also... The map feels very barren for some reason. You know? It feels like it doesn't, like, it, it definitely feels like there's an image in the background and the buildings have a clear end. Whereas when you look in the, in the actual game, it looks more full. Like the world looks or something. And again, I think this is something with the FOV. Maybe it's not right yet. I, I definitely think the FOV needs to be like way small and you just need to pull the camera back a lot. Um. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing the music loop. It's definitely better than it was in, in the beginning. Before... Uh, before he changed how it loops. But isn't there any way to make it loop like seamlessly? Like in the games? Bouncing boy. Can I remove the thing though? Because it's making me like Stop. Thank you. Close. Resuming. Okay. Nice. So yeah, everything looks to like okay. Definitely fix the the reflection on the crystals so that they're more like I can see some some hints of white sometimes. Okay, that was weird. okay. Hold on. Okay, that is weird. Um, and it only happens in this very specific camera angle. I don't know why. I'll let you figure it out when when fixing and stuff. But yeah, the whole shading on the on the crystals is weird, anyways. Yeah, it's weird. It feels like sometimes you just. I mean, I don't know what is in the back and what is in the front. Like, it's... Huh. Are they, like, transparent or something? So it feels like I can, I can see the back side of the crystal through it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, buddy. Do the time controls work? Yeah. Hello? Twenty six minutes. What? Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Oh, thank you for playing the Jordan Let's pick up a new stage customization is more in the future. Sure. But is that the only level? Oh, okay, no. I thought so. What song is this? I don't know if that's the best 
because okay the thing in my head I don't really know if I like that you can walk because like you can only point where you walk you know so like maybe you wanna you wanna look back but also like you know walk walk back like kind of to defend but also point forward it's like that's like moving and shooting at the same time is more of a twin stick shooter kind of deal which blinks is not oh and here the thing is the line of the grill Uh, but yeah, it feels weird. Like, now you can move, and now, look, you, c you can't move anymore. Like, I knew this was gonna happen, because it's what happened last time. Like, and, and you can't move, and you can't, like, turn away, either. Like, you're locked in an animation. You like the animation, you know? I think you tried to... to make it so that the... so that the animation is automatic. Like, you didn't want to make an animation specifically for Link's taking, like, sweeping something up. So like you just said, okay, you need to track, look where the thing is. I think the, the issue with this is that you probably put the priority on links following where you sweep the stuff instead of links looking where the user points the stick, which the priority should be the inverse, you know? Like maybe have some weights so that like the, the user has like 80% control, but then links looks like 20% to, to the thing, to the other thing you know, but the user definitely should have more control because you can figure out the animation weights, you know, in blending between the animations, that would be cool. Like if you can, if you can blend, I mean, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Anyways, marker slash Yeah. Uh, that looks a Fuck. Get it. And yeah, I think I talked about this also, but like the animation, you know, for sweeping the thing. Because right now I release it before I, I actually took it. It's like in Blink's one, it's like, it, it, okay, you have the thing there. It's like, foot, foot, you know? Like you, you have a clear cut in like when it sweeps, so that you know when you can release the thing and move on to the next action. Um, whereas here is like, and you don't really know when it's finished sweeping up. At once. Let's try to do the thing over there. Oh no, okay, 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 nice. I mean, I, I say nice, but really it's not that nice. Like, it's it's like, oh, thank you, it didn't fall on the ground. But why is the chest over there? I know it's a data, I know, but it's weird. It's like, just, just keep in mind, I'm saying nice, but that doesn't mean it's actually nice. But it's cool that you got the chest working, it's cool. I know, I know what stage we are on. The, Cause I see a scene over there. Okay, I see three scenes that go in the corner over there. So like, did you put the map on a square around the whole place? Cause what I think you should have done is maybe an HDRI or like you know what a, a circle, a sphere. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever tried HDRIs in Blender? I don't know if there's an equivalent for the game engines. Like, you know, an actual skybox. Because I think skyboxes are supposed to be... And I don't know if you have to make geometry for the skybox to be round, or like if you can just have an HDRI, like, like in Blender, where it doesn't have any geometry, it's just like... round, for some reason. Not sure. Uh, what is this thing?
I don't know. Okay. And so like I suppose I can't kill that dude. Ouch. Nope. So I'm forced to use the, the thing. And does that work now? Can I turn please? Oh my god. Oh my god! Shut up! Okay. You? Can I turn, please? Oh, damn. And why my- why did my time control stop? That's not cool. Okay. What did- are they supposed to drop like golden and stuff? Like, ugh, it, it looks wrong. It definitely looks wrong. It's, it's too tiny, tiny. Like, it's, it's, it looks like it's glitching out. There is too much. Like, now it's dark, now it's bright. That doesn't look right. So, I don't know how you fix that. But, yeah. Oh, so, like, both of these were gold. I don't think that's supposed to go. Oh, because he wasn't in a shield and stuff. Okay. I still I still don't think they should be dropping gold. Like, I don't think enemies should be dropping gold. Except for bosses. A gold should be. You know, when you kill enemies, you expect to get. Uh, time controls to be able to continue the game. You have an expectation to be able to. I don't think I wanted to say something else about the shield dude. Probably that I, I, I mean, you know, we talked on the server. Hold on. No. Yeah, we did Okay, we talked a lot on the server about what we think we should do or what we think we shouldn't do in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Stuff is still. Like, but that was mostly about fixing build. I assume, like, okay, definitely the double jump doesn't feel as dinked as in the first kill, which is great. Like, small fixes like this is, is what's going on. Oh, come on. And now, where, what trash do I have? There's too much empty space and not enough trash in here. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Um. Maybe they should be stunned for longer, also. Um, so yeah, whenever you design your map, I know this is all beta, but I think all criticism is, is warranted. Oh, all oh, these were gold, okay. Yeah, that's definitely not. This door is too shiny. Too much. And maybe the problem is not that it's shiny actually, it's that the, the cube map is not correct. Like, when you look in the ground, do you see how the ground moves more? Like, it, it looks like the ground is very far down, which it is, it, is not. And same for this lamp, it looks like it's far away, but like it's enormous, like gigantic. So like, you need to align the, the cube map better. And maybe then the reflection will look as weird. Because like the turn way it's set up basically on the bottom of the pin not this head or something. Like it feels like it's it's a transparent bowl. It's, it's weird. It doesn't look natural. It doesn't look like a real reflection, it looks like the thing is transparent. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say. It looks like the thing is transparent. Looks like you can you can see through the door, which I actually can't. It's not what you see on the back. It's not either a reflection of what you see here. It's a wrongly mapped cube map. Uh, what else is there to say? Oh yeah, the enemies. Don't put enemies in your cube map. Like, only the terrain. You don't want to have any props, any entities, any, any of that stuff. 
you know, it's like whenever I do stuff in Blender, you have an option whenever, whenever you do uh, whenever you do cube maps and stuff like that, like your radiance fields, you can specifically say, okay, I don't want this group to appear in the radiance field or like to affect it. Um, so that's what you need to do whenever you do your cube map. Hide everything, hide the enemies, hide the crystals, hide just the terrain, you only want the terrain. Everything that is supposed to move on your map, um, you, you cut it out of the cube map, because you can't make stuff move in the cube map, so if it moves... Like, if, if you look, if you see a crystal or an enemy in the cube map and you see it doesn't move, that looks weird, so you don't want to have that kind of thing. And so yeah, about the criticism, about the thing, you, you don't want to put your stuff in the corner, like that's... Not, you don't put them in the corner, put them over there where it's visible, you know? You want to know where you can find more ammunition. You want to be... You want to be able to like, look around and scout where you need to go, what you need to do. And especially when you have like, such big spaces, like, this open space reminds me kind of... Uh, of Deja Vu Canals, like the beginning, the first level, where you begin in this kind of like empty spot, like like over there, and then you go here and you have like the big uh, downward slope with the with the water, and actually you can find like trash over there, over on the other wall, like you know, with my line in the corners. Uh, so that's what you want to do more, like rather than putting them in the pillar, which like this pillar doesn't look like something with high trash. In there. Except like maybe sometime you do a sort of res residential level, maybe then you can consider putting them in a corner, you know, garbage bin corner of a re residential area. Maybe then yes. Okay, see what I mean about the cube map looking way too low? It's not. It doesn't look alive at all. Looks weird. But either way, so yeah, don't put the trash in the corner. Put it everywhere you can. Like, Everyone needs to be plenty. Trash a plenty. Here, here, and never needs. And then, if you have enough trash, okay, you know, this zone, okay, the benches that are all along look weird. But in this side, you know, that kind of looks like uh, Deja Vu Canal. Uh, so, yeah, you wanna have more trash. And then, if you put enough, you don't actually have to make it respawn. Which is good, because you don't wanna make the trash respawn. That looks weird. Die. No. Oh my god. Okay, definitely the attack shouldn't go so far. And they shouldn't slide. They should be like, no. Bum, bum. I, I mean, I don't know how to explain words. But like, they would, they would do... They would charge up, you know? And then like, they'd wait even longer than what you'd expect. They would jump. And, and then... When they would jump, they would only jump like a, a small distance, and they barely ever eat, hit you. So that's not the point, you know. These chrono blobs don't make them strong. Like make them real trash. The chrono blobs aren't supposed to be like. You see, that's way too far. Like I barely, I barely can like get get away from him and like collect trash. That's not what's supposed to. Chrono blobs aren't supposed to be like. Look, what he does right now is basically he's basically on the level of, of spikers, you know, which like fall on up, roll along the ground. Except he's way faster and he does it more frequently, so he's actually more annoying than spikers, which he shouldn't be. You know, the point of a chrono blob is just to be. Oh, gee, I guess I need to spare one trash for this dude. And, and then you're not supposed to be worried about him, you're not supposed to be anything. Like, you, you should never care about front of It's not supposed to be, oh, what a tough enemy, or oh, it's a decent child. No, it's just supposed to be an annoyance which you have to take care of. And never think about it. It's just, okay, I guess I need to collect one more truck. Like, see? I'm actually, I'm actually scared of letting him near me. It's, and com combine that with the fact that the trash, you never know when it actually get, gets swept up. That's a recipe for stress. Like, oh my god. Shut up. 
Get away from me. Get away from me. Why are you so funny? Shut up! Oh my god. See, it's not too <laughs> How much did he slide? Look, look at the distance. He only was supposed to to ever make like one third of it. Not more. Okay, I guess you could use time controls to make it easier, but like, come on, it's a chrono blob, you're not supposed to make it easier, because he's supposed to be the easiest, you know? Like, okay, you know you did your chrono blob right, right whenever, like, using a time control on them feels like a waste. You, you can't, especially in a game when you have, like, time control, you know, you want to have enemies which are not deserving of using that time control to make the player think, okay, when am I gonna use it? And not just use it every time and then feel like, oh no, I don't have any time controls left, you know? So, so, oh, I guess the game is bad because he didn't give me enough time controls. Because, like, you know, in the original game, whenever you see Chrono Blob, maybe you're a new, like, a beginning player, or, like, you're, you're a kid or something. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna use it on him. Oh, look, I, I'm gonna lose on him. No, he can't hit me because he's hot. Fuck. See, okay, see? You can't, you can't go back and also point forward, which is not crap. No, the enemies respond, no. See, that's the, that's the thing when you don't have retries. By the way, why, when you respond, do you only get one life? Why don't you get three? At least you could have done that. But yeah, like, okay, you're a new player, you're a beginner, you're a kid. You say, oh, I'm gonna use a pod on this dude, he's gonna be so bamboozled. And then you kill him easy, obviously. But then, when you progress through the game, you're like, oh, I'm smart. I know this enemy is trash, I don't need to use a pod on him. And then you save it up. And then, if you ever run out of, of time control on, like, tougher enemies, you're like, oh, well. Guess my bad, I shouldn't have used it on the chrono block, you know. But you, you won't feel like, oh, all the enemies are tough and I need so many time controls to be able to handle them. And and then, well, the game doesn't give you enough time controls, and then you're like, oh, this game sucks. But here it's like, okay, this enemy is definitely trash. Like, hey, look at his face, it definitely looks like a stupid ball. You know, I'm not gonna use time controls. And then that makes you think, okay, so not all enemies need time controls to be there. And actually, it's basically a tutorial that teaches you that you shouldn't waste your time control. It's supposed to be so easy and so, so dumb that you don't need time controls. And that you're like, okay, I guess I can spare them. That was a very long explanation, sorry. Why don't I get time control? See, I have I, I should get time control right, right about now. But I have none. I don't have part. But why does it tell me I have two trash and why does not want to shoot it? That's definitely Look how far he goes! That's a spiky distance. What the heck? He's a spiker, but he's even more relentless. He's like Spikers like stop, they're like invincible for a short while, and then they're like, oh, I'm looking at you. Oh, where are you? I lost track of you. Look, look at this freak. It doesn't even start from afar so that you can, so that you can like, um, escape, you know, so that you can plan, okay, he's gonna go through there, so I'm gonna avoid and jump and stuff, you know, spikers do that. But he goes right up to you, and you have multiple former gloves like gathering around you. Then you're gonna be surrounded, and they're, and they're all gonna go everywhere around you. They're all gonna corner you. It's not. Look how far! Look how much he pitched up to me! Look! I can't, ex I can't escape. It's definitely not how corner walks should work. What? Corner Bob doesn't feel so good. Anyways. Oh my god. 
I don't have any trash. I don't know why it's glitched out. Shut up. Get up! Oh, I'm supposed to get a trash to go on. Mm. I don't like this machine though. Of, of, like cutting the trash. Um, going back on this. Wait, hold on. Do you like it or do I not? Because I, I, I think I have some. I it, Oh, hello. I can't turn. Okay, that was weird. Because you know he, he's kind of attracted to looking at, at some crack, but he didn't look far enough to actually grab it. We definitely need to, to fix the, the sweeping mechanisms. Hello. I think I have some ideas which I put on the Discord about like oh, hello, hello. Which I put on the Discord about um, So like climbing up on trash, but I don't remember what actually it was. I can't remember. Uh, only one spiker left. Yes, they are spiker. What the heck? Okay, so that was intended then. Yep. Go back. Shoot all the way through the level. You guys can uh. Hello viewers, I don't know who you guys are, but well, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, links, AFP, funding, beta thing. You just take it like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. But like, don't, don't judge too hard, okay? It's just, it's, it's in the beginning stages. I'm there. That means it's like a few years old. Hello, bro. Who's over there? Another medal. And what I what do I do now? Am I stuck? No, I'm not, because I'm a pro gamer. Let's go. Yeah, but that's definitely too hard. Okay, you know what? I kinda like the vibe of having to jump over the void. But it's definitely scary. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay. Especially since you don't have momentum. Like, it's very tight. So, I like the vibe. But, like, it's too... Too scary. Too much of a challenge. Like, you should have something down there. You shouldn't have... Okay, I guess you're just having fun with the engine, with the game, because you're making it. Which is good. Good job. Props. Um, don't make this in the full game, though, please. <laughs> you, please die. I don't have any trash. Fuck. Oh my god. Did you make them harder and faster? The 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 you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. It's it's only about about the hit points, please. Like oh my god. It's just a chrono blob. You can be that hard. Oh come on! I can't even shoot the trash! This is not this is not okay. You need to change this, please. Oh my god, from there? Oh, because I didn't take the checkpoint. Because it went up. Shut up. You are. 
Oh my god. Did the medals collect? Oh, they eat. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh no! I was feeling dumb. The snake things never like bump you like this. They should always attack. Like Kernobobs in the in the in the first game, they would always like stop before you and then start the attack. It's like I know I could just beat you by advancing, but I'm purposefully gonna stop and charge up a very long attack that doesn't actually go that far and that's kind of useless just to give you enough time to get away. A Kernobob shouldn't be done. And wait for the other bench move. Oh my god. Too hard. Especially, especially if you don't get any life points back, you know? That's the main issue, I think. You don't have any retries, you don't have any life points, you don't have anything. If you die, you die. You have to restart it all. Yeah. Oh my god. I think also Chrono Bob that's supposed to lose track of you sometimes, you know? Like even if you're like just right next to them, they should be like uh where did you go? Where did you go? Come on. Okay. It should be bamboo. Ooh, that was a weird thing. Also the sound on this platform is, is kind of weird. And see, yeah, the, the skybox looks very empty. It looks fake. You could do a level like this. Yeah. That takes way too long to switch. Too much. Shut up, bro. Got your mouth, bro. Oh, come on. See? I think... No! Oh my god. No! No! Oh my god. Kind of option in this house. It's definitely some place. Thank you. And see, the tracking is really weird. Really, really, really. Like, I don't know, like, when it shoots, it shoots up in the sky. Uh, but it shouldn't shoot up in the sky. Let me try this time control. It worked? It's nice. Yeah, definitely now that you see Blinks isolated from the lighting of the game, it looks weird. Also, I don't think he should be isolated from the lighting of the game. He should when he's in pause, because like when you're in pause, everything becomes grayscale, or like close to grayscale, and then Blinks is kind of brighter. But in fast forward, Blinks is, is accelerated. Oh, oh. Which now that I think of it, he's not in in Wings Train like right now. Oh come on! Come on! Things are though. Uh, wait, Let's get the last medal and then we go out. Don't die, don't die. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god. This is way too much. Like, two? More than it would be. 
why is it shining? Why is the, the thing shining? It's, it's not supposed to be shiny like this. I think you you put too much shine on too much things where there shouldn't be any shine. Come down on the shine, up up the deal. Anyways, um, another thing I think I noticed is whenever you get in the portal, it feels like you get like you fall endlessly, which you shouldn't fall endlessly. You should it, you should just land on it, you know, and then the animation dot thing when you zoom in and whatever. But like blinks and like feel like you fall like you fall. You should like okay, you land on it, then you look down at blinks, then you zoom. It's not like you go down with blinks. It's like you zoom into blinks that jumped on the platform, and then once you zoom enough that you're in the platform, it looks up, and then there's a sound like. I think did I resume that correctly? Maybe. Which there? Yeah. It, see, it feels like he falls, but instead of falling, the camera like go down like this. You should just okay. He lands on the platform. No. There's a big flash so you don't see him or something, or like, at least he stops at some point, so like, the camera doesn't fall that far. And then zooms, and then looks up, and that's it. Okay. What else do we got? Stage 3, let's go. That definitely is very laggy. Probably because I'm, I'm on my Steam Deck, sure. But I don't think these kinds of graphics should lag on even on the Steam Deck. And you know what? I think I know why it's lagging. I know why it's lagging. Because you have too much stuff going on. First off, you have the particles. I don't know how you're doing them. I hope you're doing them in annoying non heavy way, you know. Uh, then you have the water, which to me seems like way too much detail. Like the, the wave, okay, maybe you can keep the wave if it's a simple wave, like a simple wave pattern. Then yeah, that should be fine. Uh, but maybe look into your... Oh, okay, I see some weird mesh distortion over there. So I don't know how you're doing the wave fire. Um, but yeah. It seems like there are too many things going on. Like here the water looks low poly and then you have a, a wave of high poly water going over that. It's weird. Like maybe try to reduce the amount of stuff you do with the water. And then... Okay. The grass. It's not good. It, it follows the camera too much. Yeah, I think it even follows it like from top to bottom, which it, it really shouldn't do, because like the rush should always point up, you know? Um, yeah, 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 that, that looks weird. Grass shouldn't ever follow the camera, because grass is static. So what you should do instead, let me show you how to do that. Well, first let's pause the game. I'll show you what I did in Blender. So I can go into Blender. Going to blender. Hopefully, I don't have any spoopy stuff that I left from last time. But I don't think so. I also remove that thing maybe later. Oh, Chris Room, Stone Chipper, Mess Touch. Okay, I think it's this one. Yeah. So I put some grass in this, this thing. Let me just put the, the thing. Okay, it's loading up everything. Yeah. The load detection. Oh my god, sorry. Don't worry, uh, we don't care about this, dude. It's just like it's loading stuff. And okay, we have our grass thing over there. Hopefully, the textures are gonna load soon enough. But do you see that shape? That weird shape? Yeah. Yeah, okay, the grass loaded, so let's just zoom into the grass. Here? No. Uh, select, okay. Grass, please. Grass. Grass, please, please, grass. Thank you. 
Okay, so do you see the, the kind of shape it has? It's like you've got two grass textures which are like a, in a, a cross shape, an X shape. Not quite a cross, you know, because you wanna. You don't want to be an exact cross, you know, otherwise it looks like Minecraft. Uh, you want it to be. Like, you want it to have more depth than being a flat image. So that whenever you look at it like this, it looks, it looks a bit more like depthy, you know. And then, okay, here, here, here's what I, I've done. I go in there, I go in here, I go into here, and I activate this. So you see how I put a lot of grass over here. I, I duplicated that thing in a bunch of places, and I. I added basically randomization to the orientations, you know, so like it's not quite a cross, it's kind of an X shape that's kind of flatter. And then you can just put one like this, one like this, one like this, you know, and, and randomize that. And then randomize the placement a bit. And then it looks kind of convincing from this angle, right? And then, okay, since you have an actual game engine, you can do more optimization, which I can't in Blender, which is why I had to put so, so few of them, you know. Um, but from this angle, it's it's good enough, you know. But in the game, you can pick more. You can do. But see, it looks kind of kind of convincing actually. And then if I if I do that on the other ones, you know, it starts to lag. Uh, so that's definitely not good. But we have to do with what we have. And then look, doesn't this look good? Looks hella good. And whenever you move, you know, well, okay. Apart from the fact that there isn't a lot of grass and it looks kind of empty it's it's kind of convincing you know it reflects the light and stuff especially this part you know this part looks very good like you see whenever you change the angles it feels like real grass kind of uh so you don't actually have to move the grass you know for for it to look it, the grass doesn't have to look at the camera is what i'm trying to say uh, just put, like, duplicate the grass, turn it around, make a sort of, like, you know, a X shape with the with the grass things. I'll try to vary the sh the shapes, the, the different textures, whatever. Figure out something, but don't make it move, because whenever you make it move, like, okay, see how it lags right now? Imagine if I tried to make it move with the camera. The, my computer would crash. Like, it, it adds something on top which takes resources and which actually does makes the thing looks worse. So you you definitely should think about removing that. Either way, let's continue our journey through the game. I go. The upcoming jump was fixed, and so now it's less hard to go from thing to thing. Okay. I mean, it's supposed to be less hard, but... But maybe the platforms are too small. But like, the actual ground... Okay, yeah. You see that thing? Uh, the flickering, weird flickering? I know why that's happening. It's happening because the, because the thing... Is, the crystals are transparent. And I don't think they're supposed to be transparent. That's, that's one way you can shade in Blender where you have like the, the shadows for transparent stuff instead of being like half transparency it's like uh, sort of flickers you know sort of grids like that so yeah definitely make the crystals not transparent because it creates glitches why is there so much smoke in this in the skybox I don't know but I like this skybox and by the way, this skybox looks round, which is good, because round skyboxes are, are normal. Uh, another thing... Oh, hello. Um, another... This kind of looks like a Crash Bandit map, honestly. I don't know why it feels like that to me, but it does feel like that to me. It feels like, like a Crash Bandit map. Especially with the music and stuff. Uh, what else do I have to say? Yeah, I think with, you should be able to look up the place, like higher. 
Oh, okay, that's definitely weird. Okay, so that's the first person shooter mode. Um, why can't you aim up? What if enemies are on a ledge, you know? Yeah. The fact that you can't aim up is weird. Because, okay, I know I know what happens. S uh, see how I'm pointing down now? It's like the same level. And now, if, I'm, if I try to go up, it's locked at the same level also. Which, okay, first off, you shouldn't have the same... You shouldn't... The, like, the first person camera and the third person camera should have different... Oh, thank you. Yeah, they should have different, like, angles. Um, it shouldn't carry your duration. You shouldn't have the same limitations across both, is what I'm trying to say. And also... Uh, you should be able to look up. I know in Blitz 1, whenever you try to look on the left and right, it could like, kind of go back to this, this kind of, uh, limit, you know? But if you just pressed up and waited, it would kind of slowly go up, and then whenever you turn to the left or right, it would, like, go back so that you can see the ground like this, you know? So, it, like, it would never, whenever you, you did any, whenever you left the stick, whenever you moved right or left, whenever you, you moved the character or stuff, you just go back to, to kind of this orientation. But it wouldn't prevent you from looking up if you really wanted to, you know? Um, so think about that also. Yeah. Uh, it's also weird how the crystals like they, they turn really fast and then when they when they drop they just ah oh, they stop. They stop. Also the chess model looks weird. Sorry I'm complaining about everything, but I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Right? Part first time type on part you kind of also yeah I agree developer you know a cool player Yeah, hello. Partner in time. Oh, partner in time. Is that like a a um slide for game reference or something? Hello, dude. I thought it was like I know. I, I, you know, I get so many spam messages like, oh, get get the new get get trying followers and stuff with this spoopy website and stuff. So like, when when I saw so first time chat, I was like, oh. Maybe it's another one of these, but actually no, you're, you're actually in here to watch the stream, thank you! And uh, sorry for <laughs> judging the fact that you're a first, first time chatter. So that that probably means you made an account just, just for the stream, which is cool, thank you. Let's go there. Okay, that, that was a weird way to go down. Yeah, yeah it's partners in time, links and nights, put in a single... Using. Oh, with the small eyes? I don't know why people write blinks with a small eye. It's, I mean, I know there's a dot on blink, but and I know the eye is small, but like Microsoft never wrote it like that. <laughs> okay, Mario and Luigi are in the Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, Knights also has a small eye. I should have to pit them. Oh, your pit from the Discord server! Hello! So, yeah, I'm playing out the demo. I haven't gone this far. I just got like to half of the first level back then, and then I just like kind of stopped. Uh, I, I didn't have the reason to finish it, like, you know. But now I'm into streaming a lot. Okay, yeah, that's a weird interaction. Oh my god! Yeah, so ba back earlier, I was complaining about the Chrono Blobs being, like, being too aggressive. Like, they're kind of like spikers, if, if anything, because they go really far. Look at this dude. He's like, he, oh my god, he goes as far as a spiker, and he doesn't even have, like, downtime, you know? And he doesn't even start from a distance that you can, you can plan, like, when you're gonna jump. He starts, like, right next to you. It's way too hard. Um, and yeah, they're so fast actually that they don't actually give you enough time to sweep up trash. And sweeping up trash is slow. <laughs> so yeah, it's, de it's, it's definitely hard. Very hard. And I was arguing how, how like Corner Blob should not be anything you should worry about ever. They should just be like, oh, I guess I need to spare out trash for them. 
do have to say, it's funny how Blink's still only need a different Mario for the first person. Oh, yeah, well, I, I don't think you should have different player models, I, I'm, I I was more so referring to the camera, you know, when you look down here, you see the angle where it's pointing down, and then, that's the same angle in here, and then when you're looking up, it's the same angle in here, and actually you're locked, you can't go higher in, in, in third person, so you're locked the same way in first person, you can't go higher, but it's not logical, because, like, what if I want to aim at someone on the ledge, you know, what, what I said earlier. Um, and actually seeing your limbs in first person could be an interesting thing, like I know a lot of, of shooters do that uh, for immersion. Maybe if you want to be immersed and think you are the links. <laughs> uh, so, hello there. Like, and, and I was saying, I, I mean, I think you heard that, that you you, you were able in Blinks 1 to, like, le le leave the stick up and then you could look up. Um, what games are you playing? What, what, what are you doing that's interesting? Do you have anything to say about, about, the, uh, about yourself? And yeah, it's it's kind of lagging because there's too much stuff going on with the rain, with the water, with the, with the grass that follows your camera. Too much stuff. So it lags on the steam. I also want to go there. It looks like somewhere you can go. I want to go. I want to go where the clouds are. It looks great. Um, there's a door. Oh, maybe I need to go on the bridge. Ouch. You. Done. Thank you. No, no, damn time. Damn time. Please. Stay here for longer. Please give me actual crystal. Oh, gave me actual crystal. Thank you. Oh, does the Mr. Blue work? Uh, I bet you it should work, but then I can't do that. Yep. Yes. It's cool. Those jumps are way too tight. Oh my god! And the platforms aren't like they have like three ledges where you fall down, and that shouldn't be like this. It should, like you should have more straighter edges and clearer points where you can land or not. And it shouldn't be so tight. You, you, like, what, what is this? What is this? This is too hard. And it's too. It's not hard. It's just it feels like uh, like it's unfair. You know, like jumping across the void. You don't have any any second chance. Either you nail it, either you're, you're dead. I'm done. Okay. Is there something on the door? I can't see because I can't look up. <laughs> and you know, even in some games where you can't actually look up, like for example Mario Galaxy. You had, you, you could only like go uh, left and right to, to a certain like degrees, and but then you have a first person mode where you can actually look everywhere you want, you know, to scout the terrain. So yeah, that's why you shouldn't have the same thing. Because I think what he did is like he he repurposed the same camera and put it just in in a different spot. Go up, go up. Where do we go now? I don't know. Okay, I'm supposed to go all the way over there. Oh no, okay, I'm supposed to get here. Okay, definitely what's missing is the some cinematics, like in the first game where you would have um, a camera cut to where you where, where the game is. 
stop. Stand down. Go. Uh, I think another thing that should happen is the. Bro, are you fine? Do you want to respond somehow? Hello. Stop. Please respond. Please do something. Please work. I can't do anything now. Come on. Can I go down? Oh, hello. I'm seeing. Can I go down? No. Uh, one of the most important things the Blinks one and two is that most of respond on their base, looking for me to go out of bound like this. Even boxes, it was a great concept. Yeah, it's definitely something. Like it should be, it should have more aggressive respawning mechanics. Oh come on! They're too, they're too hard, too aggro. No, no, no! Oh my god! And they go too far. Like, the, oh my god! They don't have any downtime. It's only god. It's not supposed to be that hard. Another thing that I can worry about is the fact that um, they shouldn't respawn where you're standing at or like too close to you so that you get hurt by accident. Um, and another thing, yeah, whenever they do their attack, they should have like some downtime, like not move, not do anything, and also um, be invincible, you know, and deal with their next attack. No, that doesn't make sense. But they're invincible during their attack. I don't know what I was trying to say, but no, just just have some downtime so that you can shoot or like kind of uh, What am I supposed to do now? Oh, okay. So like it just it was just like to go there and kill the enemy to like complete the stage. Okay. I don't like enemies with barriers. Oh my god! You don't want to shoot the thing. Oh yeah, another thing. Whenever you respawn, you only have one life, which is not the thing that should happen. You should have more, because then it's annoying to always die, especially with enemies that are so strong. Oh my god! No, no. Thank you. No, don't fall. Oh my god, dude. No. You see, he's he's like doing something now. He did a sort of respawn, but now I don't see him. Guess I'm just gonna die. Okay, let's finish this. You know, it kind of feels like like when you, whenever you're in Smash Bros. and and like you're playing with other people, um, in an online match with like more than one person. And then you have to carefully kill people in the right order, you know, so that nobody dies uh, first before everyone else. Because then they're gonna be mad and they're gonna quit the game. And then it's gonna just freeze and, and put you out. So you have to kill people, you have to play the game, but you also have to kill people in the right order. So like here you have to kill the front of Bobby, but you actually have to worry about the game not glitching out. Here we go. Oh, come on, you have to lie. Shut up! No! Oh my god! I couldn't jump because I was aiming. Can you jump when you aim? Yeah, weird. Oh my god, I didn't think of that. Shut up! Yes! Ah! Oh. You reduced and it's still the time for the time of as well. I should have been able to get to a lot of but yeah, not enough of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, it's not invisible with time, it's like, it's like, you know whenever they finish their attacks, they're like, oh, I'm looking around, and they, they don't have actual invincibility during this time. I know Spark Spikers had a lot of invincibility, uh, so like, they, they will start looking around, but the invincibility will only wear off uh, slightly after, which would make it hard to, like, time manage when to kill them when you had when you were surrounded by other enemies. But just the, the time window in which they look around should be, be oh my god. See since I'm coming in the in the void I don't have the right time crystals. I don't like this. Do, do I have any I hope there is more over there. Because otherwise that would suck. Oh my god! I can't even, I, I don't even imagine how how tough the reds would be. It's just a chrono blob. It's not supposed to be that hard. Come on. They already have like a lot of hit points. Why? Why do they, Why are they so aggressive? I didn't know that was an boss level. I wasn't prepared. Oh my god, he's blue and he's got a shield also. It's okay, just that they come on. I need to create the Chronobot Chronicles, yes. I mean I definitely get it, like since it's the only enemy that that is made, you wanna have maybe some challenge. You know, I, I know I'm the kind of person also when whenever I make you know 3D animations or stuff, like models. I'm like, I want to finish the thing, but I know I'm tired and it's too late and I should continue tomorrow, but I still want to make something. So I can just end up doing a half baked thing. And it doesn't look very good. Um, did I die? Did I- Did- What? Did, what? What? Uh, hello? So we both died, but we're still both alive, and now he's down there. What? Now he like did a weak disbowing thing, and I don't know where he is. Oh my god! I'm finding the glitches more than the uh, than the kind of lobs. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! At least he would have a lot of footage to test this stuff with. I don't know if some of the glitches are related to the fact that I'm running it on, on the Steam Deck. Maybe. I doubt that there are many. Like, maybe, like, visual glitches. But I, I don't think there should be much. Or maybe he would be like, okay, oh yeah, another Phantom Pistol. Hello. You wanna see something cool? Okay, at 4, 5, I think at the 7th one. Now? No, next one. No. Can you jump, please. Do it. You can do it. Come on, do it. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. He's supposed to fly up to the sky or something. Jump. No blinks, the, the crystal one. supposed to fly. Oh, but yeah, it's only the fact that you can't connect. Like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, he wasn't Okay. Can I get the thing? Can I get a, a... Yes, I can. I can. Nice, 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 nice. Heart. Oh, yes, finally. Um, I want the things over there. And then I can kill the ones that are. Okay, it's nice that we get some more. What? Oh no, it was gold! Yeah, oh, visual glitch. Hello. Oh, yeah. Also. These things are not supposed to be green. I don't think they're supposed to be. 
fire. I'll just go to the end and then I, I, I declare this level complete. For all intents and purposes, I'm a pro gamer and uh, you have no proof of the contrary. <laughs> Let's just admire this skybox for a bit longer. And, uh, and yeah. This is very laggy skybox by the way. Oh, it's weird because here it doesn't lag as much. It's like... So like, I guess it's the geometry then. Maybe there is too much geometry. Oh, oh hello! The mountain is flipping. Maybe you should like remove the geometry if it's that far and you're never gonna see it. Oh, that's why you, use, you see some flickering. Okay, so I assume... I assume that things are flickering over, over on that side. Is the mountain like... That's too distant or something? So, okay, definitely if you're gonna have a clipping plane, uh, don't have a clipping plane. <laughs> Anyways, level is done. Thank you very much. Yes. Is there anything else? A shop. Ouch, I didn't know how to. Wait, hold on. Shop. Bits are unlocked in settings. Please share any bugs or errors encountered. Yes, dude. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, um, I'm not sure. I believe you shouldn't be able to rotate from up to down. Because, um, that's definitely confusing. And why is the why is the camera pointing inverted? That's weird. You know, it's like I don't know. Like you know, I'm I'm not a programmer, so I don't know how you would have programmed that. But I don't see why he would have programmed the stick to move links up and down. In addition to like left and right, that seems to me like more work for like weirder results. But I don't know. Oh wait, no. How do I change tabs? I'm gonna change tabs, please. Okay, finally. Attachments. Sweeper pad. Ooh, nice. Perfect. How do I, uh... Oh no, because you have to select the thing. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be less green. Can I edit, please? I can't edit, it's weird. Oh, maybe because you're supposed to use the mouth. The mouse. Not good. You're supposed to have controls with the, the thing. Lenses, color. Yeah. Okay. The color should definitely be more like. What uh, sort of gray? Can I have gray, please? Why can't I have gray? Where's the gray? Is this gonna be white? Oh, it's still blue. What's the point of giving some sliders if everything is gonna look blue anyways? Color of the face, eyes, less green, please. More red. This is more like Blink's eyes, yes. But then you also need the red of the of the fur to be more uh, orange. Earrings, no, thank you. Bell. Bell needs to be more yellow. Um, I mean, it's just the mesh that's weird looking. 
jacket more more green. Yep. Maybe no. It, it's like it's, it's supposed to have more whiter shine on it. Okay, shorts more 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 blue. Yeah, something like that. But the first still looks wrong. Wow, I'm a pirate. Anyways. Uh is that all there is in terms of levels? Yes, I believe. Medals. Okay. Statistics. Oh. Interesting. Wait. Runtime. Three hours. Yeah, we will play for three hours. Well, I've actually been streaming for two hours. Interesting. Um. Yup, well. Oh, did he by any chance give me the thing with uh, runtime already on it or something? Checkpoint rich thanks stage. Oh stage okay. Doing stage three the statistics. One or twenty-four minutes. I didn't even stream for that long. Maybe the time maybe on the Steam Deck the time like the compatibility thing makes the time go like twice as fast. Or like maybe it's just a bug on, on his side. I don't know. Um, I think that's that's all options. Is there anything interesting in there? I think he really did the this thing. It's definitely still very confusing terms that it's happening in this mini. Quality. Ooh. Let's test the performance in the in the first level without all of these things. Okay, bloom. First off, bloom. Let's put it at ten percent. Maybe put the increments at, at every percent so that you don't have like decimals. There's no no illusion. I don't know. Shadow distance. Can we have shadow shadow body low? Volumetric quality. Okay, so okay, first one thing. You should start with the with the quality settings at mid or like maybe high at max, but not not to the to ultra or something like that. You should also uh shadow was it when you, oh yeah, when you click, it should not go from like max to lower, it should go from low to max. Or like, even better have like, uh, left to right sliders. Or like, selectable option or something, you know. Shadow quality, uh, medium, I guess. More metric quality, high. Extra quality, medium. anti is high. Decent, off. Right flashes, off. Fill up you. Six. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Why is it affecting the menu? That's not All right. Okay, fill with you. Render distance. Two hundred or something. Shadow distance less. Only an occlusion max. Bad. And now let's go to the new game. Now let's go back to okay. First off, stage one just to test the um, the uh, FOB. Yeah, see, okay. If the issue though now is that the camera is too close. Like, yeah, you change the FOB, but also move the camera back. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna get crushed. Oh my god, no, Blinks, you die. It's not there. Oh, hold on. Is there? Yeah, okay. 
I wanna see at the end of the level. I'm going to care about you. It's when you go. It's when you go. It's when I go past you. Go back to the end of the world. Does it feel empty still? And it feels, it feels less empty, I think. Probably, maybe. What's that weird flickering? Flickering on the side. You see the flickering? It's like... Oh, I know what that is! It's a chrono blob! Back... Back behind the wall. When it's jumping, it's doing something weird with the textures. I think. Oh, I know what's happening! The textures are transparent, like they have like a slight bit of transparency. Hold on. No, that's not right. Because I see the texture moving up and down actually. What's happening? Okay. I don't what what the deal is, but it's definitely weird. Like you can see him jump through the ground because he's making like a sort of weird. I, I don't. I don't even know how you can get a bug like this to happen. Well, maybe it's just because it's running on the screen. You know what? I'll, I'll try running over my PC player just to check if that's a Steam Deck exclusive bug. That's definitely. Oh no, Mick! Oh no. Is it supposed to flicker like that? Probably not. Uh, let's go back to the last stage to check the performance. Hello. Ooh. Performance. Let's go. What? 40 FPS? Something. See frame limit. 60 FPS. Uh, we're at 45. It's not the best of the first. Yep. Not the best. Uh, what if I want the frame rate? Well, oh, that definitely feels way too much. I mean, you can't really see what I'm doing because it's, it's something on the Steam Deck screen, which I never actually looked at. No, I mean, it feels kind of smooth, but even at 60 FPS, whenever it's not locked. Whoa, whoa, hello? Whoa. What? What's happening with the camera? Hello? Oh, now it thinks it's a mouse cursor. What? Hello, oh, I'm on my control back. Thank you. Oh, that's weird. Because I think it touched the screen and then it was like, okay, you're in mouse control. So like the Steam Deck was like, oh, okay, let's, let's use mouse controls then. And then it moved. Like the stick acted as a mouse, because the game thought it should have a mouse. Anyways, performance is still not the best. Stage select. Anything else I can check? Options. Um, I don't think so. Maybe I'm under the fusion. Oh, yeah. Nope. Come on. Go down. Oh, I need to use the mouse. 
shadow distance. No field of view, higher, okay. Go back to the last level and check if it's any better. Bam. Very unstable frame rate. 30, 30 to 25, 50. From 30 to 50, it's very not stable. Always. Exit stage. Yeah, let me check it on the, on the windows to see if it's anything. Let me just quit the game on the on the stream. I can report that the game actually launches and is playable on the Steam Deck. So that is good news. Very good news. Now, let's try... Uh, files... Uh, wait, hold, hold on, let me just switch to my webcam real quick. Let's go into my files. Okay. Let's go open that up. We open seven zip extract. Okay. Blink three. Blinks three. Okay, hold on. I can't hear anything because I muted my, my PC. I still okay okay hold on let me quit the game real quick um i need to add this to steam add an on steam game browse downloads windows beta latest windows blink 3 add oh my god okay launching going to my steam deck library I'm going to non Steam Links 3 Connect. Let's go. Can control with the Steam Deck now. And switch back to my PC view. Oh. Yeah, we go. By the way, uh, partner in time, if you're still there, uh, don't hesitate to drop a follow. Because um, that, that will make a nice animation on the screen. Because I set up a nice animation with this. <laughs> So if you want to try this out and give me a follow in the process, uh, go ahead. That would be really sweet. Does that work? Please work. Please connect. Okay, working. Using all this config or something. Work. Yeah, it works. Okay. Um. Okay. If there's still the glitch with the the textures, we do, but okay. Ouch, I don't have anything. No. Stop. We're back. Oh, it's lagging the whole back. On my skin is. It's too long! Why is it taking so long? Check actually. I'm gonna check 
have some critical issues where we are stuck. We want to start. I don't need to do it. Exit. Yes. Stage 3. Yes. Definitely lags even here. Oh my god, I'm, I'm looking at the stream. It lags so badly. It's taking up so much resources. It's crazy. Like, what the actual heck? Oh my god, it's, it's lagging. It's actually lagging on my, on my top of the line. See? I like that he's actually having fun with the bugs. That's kind of cool. How fast is that dude? Too fast. Too much. Too much. I can't even imagine the reds how, how fast they would be. Anyways. Looks and runs fine, I think. Uh, so I guess that's all I'm gonna do for now. Thank you for tuning in, guys. It's pretty, pretty sweet and dandy. Uh, it also takes like a weird exclusivity on the on the full screen display, because because you you saw the delay be between when I quit the game and whenever the display updated on the stream. It's, it's definitely weird. It's doing some weird stuff. So thanks for checking the stream and um uh yeah. Nice. See you and hopefully you, you got some nice useful intel from this whole gameplay section up here. I'm expecting I'm looking forward to the next update. Thank you for working on this, it's cool. Let's see you, bye.